Ladies and gentlemen, there's another insect invasion, and this time it's in southern Utah. Now, they're blaming it on the very moist condition and a combination of warm weather that has happened in southern Utah, and they have an invasion of green stink bugs. And in some cases, they said it's a combination of grasshoppers and stink bugs, but nevertheless, they are invaded. So this came out in St. George News, bugged by bugs, Southern Utah residents getting swarmed by insects. And this is July 29th, 2019. So let's see if I can get... Nice. Here we go. Look at all those grasshoppers. And then the stink bugs. You can see the combination in there. It's stink bugs, gnats, and grasshoppers they're being invaded by. Well, damn. And I never seen the green stink bugs before. Usually the ones I see in New Jersey, they tend to be brown. So many residents of Southern Utah are being bugged out by bugs lately as several different types of pests have been proliferating in large numbers. Experts say the invasion of insects is attributable to a combination of factors including wetter than average spring. And they said the warm weather has helped in hatching all of the dormant eggs. So we've got a couple of things going on. One is the really wet winter and spring that we had and this is Bill Hayborn, an associate biology professor at Southern Utah University. Okay. And then we had a kind of slow summer warming up. And so a lot of things just stayed dormant, eggs underground, that kind of thing. And then it warmed up really quickly. I think the combination of the two has led to a lot of outbreaks that we're seeing. Several types of insects have been reported throughout the region in large numbers lately, including grasshoppers, gnats, false chinch bugs, and green stink bugs. Outside of southern uh, Utah, large swarms of Mormon crickets, a uh, type of katydid, which really reported recently reported in uh, Idaho. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see more of these outbreaks. I read an article um, earlier this year that said insect infestations were going to become more common in the U.S. because of climate change. All right, so the insects are tied to environmental conditions, temperature, moisture, food availability, all of those things. Sometimes the stars just align and the conditions end up being just perfect for a particular species of insects. Yeah, you know, we've had a very unusual spring and even winter this year. As for what people can do about the various bugs, Hayborn said, uh, viable options tend to be limited. If there are outdoor uh, swarms going on, there's really not much you can do. I especially with insecticides, they're not going to work on outdoor swarms like that. You might kill some of them, but you're not going to stop the swarm. So really, the only thing you can do is wait until they finally move out. 
And the thing is, even in Las Vegas, where they're experiencing a grasshopper invasion, they told them that can go on for several weeks before all of those grasshoppers are gone. And that being said, it's going to be the same situation for Utah. They're going to have to wait it out until these insects actually start to move on. But damn, what a combination. Gnats, grasshoppers, and green stink bugs. Well, damn. And then they got the Mormon... Uh, look like that is a... Hold on, I did see that. It's not a cricket. That's in the Mormon crickets. Yeah, it is a cricket. Mormon cricket. Wow. That's a crazy combination of bugs. All right. So they're just telling people to get a professional um, exterminator if you happen to get these in your house. Ooh, look at the light. You can see them all. Ugh. Man, oh, that's, oh, that looks horrible. Yeah. If it's gnats, you're going to have to wear some insect repellent to cover up. If it's grasshoppers and they're eating your garden, you might need to spray. But if they're just, you know, on the side of your house or whatever, Maybe just leave them be. If they're getting inside, you better call an exterminator. Danny Shakespeare of Shakespeare Pest Control in St. George said, his business has received many calls about swarms of green stink bugs over the past few days. Yeah, I bet you are. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we got hundreds of calls about them. There's just not much you can do about it, he said. Yeah, what can they really do? I mean, exterminators can't really do anything about swarms. You can kind of help alleviate it a little, but it's not a fix. It's more of a band-aid, Shakespeare explained. You can spray and it'll kill a bunch of them, but... They'll just keep coming. Exactly. You can't stop no swarm with a can of spray. Come on, y'all. We've been doing some of that uh, spraying pesticides for some facilities, but it doesn't really make a difference, he said. How could it? I mean, if you've got an invasion of millions of insects, uh, how does anybody think in insecticides or pesticides are going to do the trick. It's not. In some ways, it makes it worse because now they're dealing with a bunch of dead ones and then the live ones are still flying in. So now they're having to sweep up tons of dead ones and deal with the live ones all at once. <laughs> yeah. To help alleviate the problem, Shakespeare recommends residents turn off lights at night and make sure all exterior windows and doors are sealed with weather stripping. Ew, look at that. Ooh, look at that still shot. Oh, that looks gruesome. The green stink bugs are just one of several pests that Shakespeare and his employees have been dealing with, he added. The false chinch uh, bugs have really been bad this year, too. They were really bad in the spring, and then they popped back up again about uh, this. They popped up about this last week. Okay, so they came back up again for, I guess, a second invasion on them. Then we've had grasshoppers, and then gnats have been terrible. Oh, just look at that picture. Those are green stink bugs outside of a business in St. George, Utah. Ugh. Shakespeare says, in most cases, the best thing to do is simply 
wait out the pest until they, you know, until their natural cycle runs its course. It's going to have to be dry out more and they'll just disappear. I mean, just looking at these pictures are gruesome. Yeah, somebody put a video here. Oh, that just looks gruesome. Ugh. I, I couldn't be driving out in that. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, y'all. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.